so i i don't think you know uh, the state government is really ready to take the responsibility take the risk of you know uh, reduction of troops or revocation of espa uh, because uh, during this tenure we have seen during these last 6 months more troops more camps have come up whether you call it in sopor or in pulwama uh, in uh, chakura or you can say in uh, sidko pulwama many places you know more troops are coming up more uh, army camps are coming and there is a lot of confusion whereas the army chief mr singh says that uh, the reduction does not you know relate to the army to, uh, the army while as the igp crpf is on record to have said which has been published in yesterday's newspaper he said we have no directions for the troop of uh, withdrawal of the crpf and he also said that in the unifying command meeting which the you know uh, general singh had mentioned that is going to be decided there they said nothing umar ablak heads the unifying command this the uh, mr uh, dinesh kumar Uh, i think he is the inspector general of crpf he said nothing was mentioned about the withdrawal of the paramilitary forces in the unifying command meeting so i think they are tossing the ball into each other's court but basically they don't understand the human problem that the kashmiris are facing and that's why perhaps you are hitting streets almost in yeah, every district yeah level. today we are going to hold demonstrations at all the district levels except for srinagar and jammu which we feel uh, has security problems because of the 26 january and we don't want to create more problems we are going to demand for the resolution of kashmir issue we are going to demand for the release of debt news withdrawal of cases against the students whose career is at stake also against you know there is a shortage of electricity rations uh, Production of troops, and uh, you know there is hardly any governance, corruption, and then backdoor entries in the employment. All these issues, whether they are political or where they are, you know, uh, these uh, day-to-day governance problems, we are going to raise because we have been quite deliberately for last three months. After the eight-point package was announced, we are just watching, you know, how the state government and the central government is going to respond to the superficial calm that we see on the streets, but uh, nothing really is happening, and it's very unfortunate. when things go out of control in kashmir everybody starts talking about kashmir when things seem to be normalizing nobody is really bothered.